Good afternoon, everyone. Treasure Troller here from the partially mask-wearing militant state of Michigan, where we have more FBI agents and paid informants than we do actual conspirators in the plot to kidnap our governor and dictator, Gretchen Whitmer. Today is just a couple of things. One sort of funny... Dark, dark humor, I think it, 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 it appealed to me anyways. And then a little bit about, uh, about the process, as, uh, as the Dimension Chief put it. So the first thing that I thought was rather sort of funny, but you don't want to mention why it's funny, but it's funny is I was... Uh, looking at I can't think what it is is it TikTok I was looking at TikTok I think it is so I I saw this video and it was a it was a video of a blind girl I believe her TikTok handler handler handle or whatever they call it was called uh, can't see or uh, can see can't see so C-A-N-S-E-E -E, and then C-A-N-T-S-E-E -E. so she's a she's a very attractive young lady and she was doing a video on how she makes coffee and how she has this little indicator thing that when it gets so much water in it it beeps and how she anyways she makes her cup of coffee and kind of ends the TikTok video and it's like happy Saturday or something like that and so the first thing the first thing I thought of was um, <laughs> let's see how many people comment make comments to her. <laughs> so you, <laughs> you have people writing comments to a blind person. <laughs> I'm sorry, I. <laughs> You, how do how do you <laughs> how do you comment like going nice comment uh, you know she's blind how do you <laughs> how do you write something in there to remind these people that she's blind <laughs> I thought that was good but if you want to check her out if I can if I can download the video. <clears throat> Uh, I couldn't, for some reason, it didn't give me the uh, the share button or whatever. I've, I've downloaded a couple of them before, but I, I believe it's C-A-N-T-S-E-E, -E, or no, can see. Can see, can't see, it's just one word. So the next thing is... Uh, you know, I guess when people, uh, you could say, are on the right or, shall we just say, oppose the agenda and certain mandates of the Dimension Chief and local school boards and things like that, when they, when they are vocal about their displeasure with the mandates they tend to protest they they get loud and they get vocal and that's you know there was a thing uh, I saw online where they wanted to try to use the Patriot Act to shall we say muzzle these people from going from protesting and kind of going, I guess you could say going after 
local politicians and school board members, they actually want to try to use the Patriot Act. Then on the other hand, the Kirsten Cinema, Kirsten Cinema, and I'm pretty sure I'd have to go back and look because it was so long ago, but she got in in the midterms and I said that there was going to be a couple of a couple of senators that are really going to become very influential and really hold the power in Washington. I believe I thought Christian Cinema was one. I didn't know the other one, but I think I mentioned her name. But anyways, she was back in her home state of Arizona. She was at Arizona State University where there was a couple of, shall we say, uh, uh, what, I'm trying to think of what Obama used to call himself back in the, in the heyday of, uh, you know, rabble rouser, a couple of rabble rousers, Coster in the halls at ASU. She goes in the bathroom and they actually chase her into the bathroom. And then as she's going through the airport, they're, they're chasing her through the airport. And then even on the plane, they're, they're after her on the plane. But see, as, according to the dementia chief, well, that's just the process. You know, that's, it, you know, he doesn't like it, but you know, that's, that's you know, it's just, it's just the process. But I got a hand to Christian Cinema. She has got a pair of cojones on her. I mean, these people are walking right up next to her. She doesn't have armed bodyguards pushing people away through the air. She had no one, of course, no one on the airport airplane with her. She had nobody at Arizona State. She had a couple of people, uh, probably an airline uh, personnel pushing her luggage. Um, there may have been a couple of airport security that were walking behind her, but they were not stopping anybody. Um, do you really think that you could get that close to AOC? Do you really think you would find AOC unaccompanied on a plane? Walking unaccompanied through a university. Well, she's never really been to a university, so... But... She's, she's got a set of cojones on her, so... I gotta give it up for that, but... Yeah, I don't think that this kind of intimidation is going to work on her. Because during her election, Project Veritas got after her. And it was, uh, I believe it was for, um, like, helping the uh, people from the south migrate up here. Those caravans. Sending money to certain causes and whatnot. Uh, I think food and water and stuff. So she's not uh, she's not without her faults. So if Project Veritas can't really get that far into her these little kids reading off a their cell phones where someone has told them hey Here's 50 bucks. Go up and uh, read this to uh, uh, Senator Cinema. Uh, you know, that ain't going to work. She's a hell of a lot tougher than that. So, I got to give her a little bit of respect. But anyways, she's blind, you know. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't get that. <laughs> but anyways... This is, this is Treasure Troller saying aloha and good day.